dying. Okay. Not really. It's so hot in here. Oh my god. Yes. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's Sasha. So today I'm going to be doing my July favorites. And sorry I didn't film on Thursday or Wednesday because I wasn't really feeling so good. Um, if you could hear it a little, I it's some sort of like summer virus. I don't really know a lot about it, but I'm not contagious. It's I think a lot of people are getting it, but I'm almost finished with it. I do feel a little better. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to suck it up and do my July favorites. And I have been loving a lot of stuff this July. Um, I realized, like, when I was planning out... I realized that when I was planning out this video, I haven't done a favorites in such a long time. It's like... I don't even remember the last favorites I did. Um, I honestly don't. It's such a long time I haven't done one, so I figured it was about time to do another. If you could hear it in my voice, sorry. Bear with me. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get started. The first favorite I've been, I'm not going to go in order, just random stuff, but this is one of my favorites. It's the Ray Ban. Well, it's gonna be my favorites until I get. I think it's the. I forgot what name it is, but I'm gonna put it up right here so you guys could see it. Um. So this is gonna be my favorites until I get those. So yeah. What I've been loving is, or, yeah. The next thing I've been loving is the Japanese cherry blossom candle, and it smells. So so good it's just so like summery it's really good it's really good so the next thing I've been loving is this Too Faced Melted in Nude and I got this um lipstick yeah lip lipstick yeah this lipstick from I think Tori Sterling she talked about this and I am excited to try it out because it is a beautiful color so yeah this necklace it's silver and I got this from I think icing yeah I think it's from icing and it's really pretty I really like so like this black laced choker because whenever I wore it when my grandfather was still living he said that it reminded him of his grandmother, so it made me really happy, so I kept on wearing this. So now whenever I look at this thing, it reminds me of him. But, yeah, I guess that's happy or good memories. I don't know, but I like it. What I've been really loving is, it's actually new, and I had some experience, like, sometimes trying this out. Or, what am, I, what am I even saying? I, I don't know how to speak right now. I just don't. But this is um, the Oil-Free Acne Moisturizer Pink Grapefruit. It says it clears breakouts. Lightweight moisturizer from Neutrogena. And Tila Dunn says great things about this. Just like I do. It's just amazing. It clears it. And just read it. It clears breakouts. Lightweight moisturizer basically. And it smells so good. It works perfectly. I know that everyone has different skin types, but I am, I have light skin, like very fair, so, but still, it works perfectly, and I love that, like, just, just got today is this blush brush, and I have been looking for this thing, I don't even know how long, um, but yeah, it's so soft, and just put it on and it looks like this and it's I, I love it the next thing I really like is this cool way beachy stall hair hairspray so 
it's so like this you spray it and then you just like tease your hair a little bead you know like how you come back and then your hair is kind of like I don't know like I don't know, how, you know what I mean um it just gives it that kind of beachy wave hair and so like you instantly spray in your hair tease it and you got that hair so I love it um the next thing uh, yeah okay so I like this hula benefit bronzer and if you guys don't have it yet this is what it looks like uh yeah like that and I use this brush with it which is another one of my favorites it's just a fan brush and it works amazing um I wanted this for a long time but I haven't had the courage not courage what am I saying I haven't had I was too lazy to get it and I was like will I regret it I don't regret it this thing is amazing like you just put it on and contour a little down and it, it's great I really like is the Coralista blush and it gives me color this is just like a powder that I put on right after I put on this uh, Benetint for the it's a cheek stain and lip stain but I most it for cheeks so I put that on after this and then I really like the high beam benefit it's just like a highlighter I put on the cupid's bone um and maybe on my nose a little and up there but yeah I put it mostly right there and it's so good it looks like this this oh god I'm gonna drip it okay to probably close it um the next thing I've been really loving is this NARS um lip pencil and what color is it in I think it's in well anyway it's the birthday gift that they have at Sephora now it's the lighter one um I think it's rude no I don't I don't know but just go to Sephora and say what are the two colors that you get for your birthday present now and they'll say this color and the right color so yeah um thing is this EOS um lip balm and it's in I think honeydew yeah it's definitely in honeydew um and it's really fruity and refreshing and I usually stopped using EOS lip balms but once I got this one I became obsessed with them again and it's really good so the next thing I've been really loving is this clump crusher by lash Blast mascara it's cover girl and it just looks like this it's like a cat eye thing but yeah it just has that scoop and I use this for the lower lashes it's just very you know what I don't think the mascara is a problem I think my lashes are the problem because I barely have any bottom lashes which is very sad so yeah I think it's my lashes but if you still have any suggestions I'm open to anything for my lower lashes so yeah um, the mascara I've been loving is this, um, Their Real Mascara from Benefit. This is incredible. My upper lashes look like the fake lashes, but I don't really like to wear fake lashes because they're too heavy. But this gives me the perfect fake lashes. I know that a lot of people before said that the Better Than Sex Mascara was good for your lashes but for me okay this is amazing this is I don't, I don't even have any words for it this is great I, I love it um but this only for the top lashes still give me suggestions for the bottom because yeah okay so the next thing I've been really loving is this Alame eyeliner and here's how I got to this eyeliner so I've been using this other eyeliner from this is kind of embarrassing I've been using it from Claire's um it was horrible like I don't even know what I was thinking with it until I went to Dwayne Reed and I told a lady hi do you have any suggestions for like eyeliner 
and she said oh yeah try the alame this works perfectly on my um waterline because i never really wear it on my tight line only the waterline but the only part that i don't like about it is that it doesn't last 24 7 like it rubs off a little um i remember i forgot who it was but they said hey why did you take off your makeup and i'm like what do you mean and he said like you're not wearing your eyeliner anymore so like i guess it rubs off a wow sasha wow i great okay so they said like i guess it rubbed off a little but this is what it looks like um it's just normal eyeliner i don't really understand why i rubbed off so fast um yeah i i this is maybe my favorites i mean it works good for like a short time but i guess i have to reapply it whatever it's okay but yeah i guess this is, even though i just got my eyebrows done whenever i fill them in i use the brow wiz by anastasia because i felt like the um the gel no, not the gel. Yeah, is it the gel? I think it is. Um, the other, the Dip Brow by Anastasia was a little too thick. So this is a little lighter. And it looks like this for the brush. Like when I comb it out, this is what it looks like. And then when I fill it in, it looks like this. It's very thin, very thin. Looks like that. And I have it in, I think, let's see. I have it in medium brown, and it's perfect. I love it. This MAC Studio MAC Fix, and it is in... I don't, I don't, I don't think... Maybe light or medium? I don't know. But this is what it looks like, and... It's not too heavy. I don't break out when I put it on, so it's great. I really love it. Um, and it gives me the perfect matte finish. So the next thing I really like is a Stila Liquid Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. <coughs> liquid Eyeliner. And it has this um, tip right here. And it's perfect. I have it on right now. I did get the e.l.f. eyeliner, but I'm not so great at using it. I feel like I have a better grip with this, but I guess I could tr keep on trying with the e.l.f. I don't know. But for now, this is my favorite. I've been using this for a few years. So the next favorite I have is... Ew. Okay. Uh, the Sally Hansen eyelash curler and I told you guys I think in I don't remember what video but I already told you guys that I've used an eyelash curler before which did nothing like I, I don't even know why I have I used it before I was like oh yeah it works perfectly maybe I just liked it because they had different colors like pink and purple but this looks so well yeah this looks so much better and it's great like I could show you right now it's like like it, it's great I, I really love it um then the next the next thing I've been really loving is the L'Oreal Paris LA I, I don't know how to pronounce it but it looks like this I don't think you could even see that. It's this. And it is in... Chocolate 209. I don't even know what it's called. But it looks like this. It's in this color. It's just like a nude color. And it is so pretty. I love it. It's... It's great. I love it. Um, next thing I really like is the MAC. And I said this before. I think in my night route, my summer night routine, it's Kim Kardashian's favorite um, lipstick. It's Angel. 
by MAC and it just looks like this and it is so good. I love it. It's perfect. It looks so good on me. I love it. Um, and I have like no lips like for I have no top lip so this gives me like a little full fuller lip if I just put it on like let's see it's uh, I actually did recently just order the Daisy by Marc Jacobs roller uh, perfume but I also really like this one so I guess a Daisy by Marc Jacobs perfume will be my favorite once I get it. I've been loving this triangle bathing suit. And, oh gosh, it looks so big. Let me put it on. Yeah, okay, this looks better. So, it's um, in Poppy, I believe. And it's just this color. And the back is like this. Um, then the top looks like this. It's all neosprene. And so, then the next favorite I have is this bralette type of thing um it's from brandy melville and the back looks like this and it is so cute and i like wear it with a high-waisted skirt or shorts and it's really adorable these shorts from forever 21 and washed out a little i have no idea but it looks like this and it is so cute Thing which I just got and I'm gonna I know I'm gonna wear it a lot is okay but first coffee the next shirt I really love is this one and this one reminds me of Mean Girls a lot um, can't sit with us and I don't think it's mean I, I think it's cute it reminds me of Mean Girls and I really like it and it's like a muscle tee and it, it's really cute I don't really have it in my hands but I think I could say it. My next favorite is Netflix. I think a lot of you guys are relatable to this one. Um, yeah, Netflix is... Yes. So yeah, that is all of my um, July favorites. If you really like this video or if you just like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down there. And put in the comments below what you guys want to see next. Sorry, thank you guys for bearing with me with all this um, and my voice. I'm sorry guys, but I sucked it up for you today. Um, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.